Um, welcome to the lighthouse, as always. I'm delighted to um, have this time with you and to tune in in a really meaningful way. Um, so at the beginning of this week, we um, had we set the tone to really um, investigate what it means for us as individuals and as a community and as a global collective to um, be working with our intuitional confidence. So we, we set the tone at the beginning of the week around that theme. Uh, an intuitional confidence that is informed by transparent communication. So I really want to, um, you know, continue to have a continuity of those themes in our in the inquiry that are our meditations today. So you know, transparent communication is absolutely, unabashedly, entirely fueled by honesty, which means that you have a, a big net cast that. Um, is big enough to include the blissful uh, news and information and sensations and embodiments as well as the other side of the coin um, because here we are on this uh, you know pressurized polarized planet in this in this uh, really interesting era that we're in um, but for today so taking those themes and then extrapolating it a little bit making it even um, more inclusive you know in some of my meetings with people yesterday, um, there was this beautiful, very relevant term that arose, and it's that of COVID brain. Um, you know, what is COVID brain? We've all got it to to some degree, because we're, we're lingering in this deconstructed state, right? Um, we're, we're all suffering to some degree from um, the stasis of calamity consciousness. And as practitioners, as um, you know, a team of awakening individuals, we, um, we really need to be very proactive around getting out of that, the viscosity and the stickiness of that calamity consciousness. Um, because that's exactly what fear wants to do to us. Fear wants to freeze frame us. It, it wants to keep us in the lockdown thought forms. Um, but each and every time we meditate, each and every time we practice, every type of practice, it pulls us out of that so that we can look at all of the narratives that are going on with uh, a fresh mind and clear uh, outlook and clear insight. We can look at all the narratives, we can work with all the narratives, we can identify our loops, the individual loops that we tend to um, habitually get stuck in. You know, and we're, we're all, it's happening to all of us, you know. So to identify the loops and to get really, really um, sober and lucid and committed to identifying the, you know, the megawatt information system that is affecting us. Um, and it's affecting us in the form of um, the symptoms of depression, and fatigue and anxiety and uncertainty and apathy, even apathy, um, that is tr the, these symptoms are trying to hijack our life energy um, all the time in this time. Um, and that's why it's important that we practice, that we come together to practice in this way. You know, um, the radiation culture that we're part of, that, you know, we've got all these devices around us and we're touching them, that too is affecting our chi. So what do we do if, you know, if we're, we're doing the intellectual self-psychology of working with the narratives, of identifying the loops, of understanding this uh, information syndrome that we are subject to and inside of, how do we take that and say, no, I will no longer be in the analysis paralysis of these times. I'm going to no longer be mired by the calamity. I'm going to take a stand to continue to move onward and upward to be, as we were talking about on Tuesday, to be committed to beginnings, to be a risk taker that is willing to make a new start and to recognize that any place is a good place to start. So how do we do it as practitioners? We need to oxygenate, we need to organize, we need to process, we need to activate and we need to utilize every small awakening and apply it liberally, apply it liberally, okay? 
So I want to do primarily two uh, meditations that are going to help us to set a kind of new neuron velocity so that we can, um, so that we can have um, a, a, an efficacy in the way that we do what I just said, that in the way that we organize and process and activate and apply um, everything that's going on around us. And to do it from a place of intuitional confidence, from a place of intuitional integrity, and um, to have it be meaningful. Um, so let's get started. I'm gonna turn on um, a nice percussive piece for us. So last week, I believe it was on Friday, I started introducing, bear with me here, I started introducing, oh no, 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 there we go. I started introducing this uh, particular meditation, this is the Pandragrani meditation, we're going to do it in a still form. On Tuesday we were oscillating. Dynamism is super important in this time so that we can get up and out of, uh, sorry, the dog is having a real play fest right behind the screen here. Um, so we can get up and out of the lockdown thought forms. But for today, I want you to focus on the dynamic aspect of the way in which you're breathing, okay? We must oxygenate, 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 okay? So we're gonna bring the left hand lower than the right hand. The, Tips of the left fingertips are on line with the base of the right fingertips. Left hand is pressing into the right, and right hand is pressing into the left, and then I'm just locking the thumbs around the hands so that um, the structure is stabilized, and this structure is putting, it's being um, embedded into, into the great halls of your, um, your belly and your backbone and your brain. You're giving yourself a new structure through which to move your life energy, to circulate the life energy in a very profound way. So press and stabilize. You're gonna make an O shape with the mouth and you'll do the breath of fire. So it's gonna look like this. I'm gonna set my gaze. I'm gonna stabilize it at the tip of the nose. <sighs> Be sure you're inhaling enough, okay? I'm gonna do it with you. So I'm giving us a slightly slower percussive pace so that it's a little bit more sustainable. Press, set the gaze, sit up nice and tall. of the belly and the great halls of your backbone and the great halls of your brain and how the breath and the briefness but the profound nature of that little meditation there how it set a new neuron velocity through which you can 
um, oxygenate, organize, process, activate, and utilize every small awakening and every bit of information that is coming to you and discern and discern and discern again. So I want to move on into um, the last meditation, which will be a longer um, meditation. So this is Nadi Shodana. This is a classic um, purification practice that harmonizes absolutely every system in the body and is going to um, have a very profound effect on you know the polarity consciousness that we're in right now and to create a neutrality to give you a centrality in your neutrality to give you um, the kind of stillness that is unshakable peace to give you the kind of wisdom that comes from emptiness and to grant you the kind of fullness that comes from um, wisdom and love and action Wisdom and love, these are the, the two main wings of the bird of Dharma. And wisdom and love, you know, these are not virtues that are exclusively reserved for renunciates or Asian masters. They are wholeheartedly, completely, 100% available to anybody who's willing to do the deep and noble work of activating it, these qualities inside of oneself. So endeavor into making whatever kinds of shifts. That's really what this alignment is about, these angles and the Panjagrani meditation is you know, being able to move the tectonic plates of your perception, to toggle around at will in your perception so that you're not in the stuckness, but you're in the vastness, the vastness. This is such a key in this kind of work. The dog is power chewing her toy just choking on a little bit of it, or at least coughing on a little bit of it. So listen in here for a second. I'm going to give you the technique for the Nadi Shodana. This will create such a beautiful, peaceful embodiment. You're going to use your right hand, and you're going to curl the index and middle finger of the right hand in towards the center of the palm. The right thumb will be closing the right nostril, and the right ring finger will be closing the left nostril. So I want you to get the feeling of oscillating the hand back and forth in this way. So this kind of um, unshakable piece that I just mentioned, it will help us to say no to all of this debilitating grief that is, um, that is going on in our culture right now. So hopefully you've got the feeling of the oscillation. So we're going to just be breathing in through one nostril at a time, holding onto the breath, and then breathing out of the other nostril, one nostril exhaling at a time, and then inhaling, holding, exhaling, holding, inhaling, holding, exhaling, holding, inhaling, holding. Okay, so it's just this simple back and forth. And I'm gonna turn on a beautiful mantra that is um, going to assist us at the level of the sonic meditation to, it'll assist us to reprogram uh, to repattern some of the programs that are running in the subconscious mind so that we can be more active, sincere, and efficient listeners. Listening at the level of honesty and transparent communication and listening from a place of, um, of the intuitive self. Okay, so let me just quickly hit play on this. And I'm going to call all of the nuances of the breath, okay? So just listen and follow the instructions. So seal the left nostril with the right ring finger and inhale deeply through your right nostril. Let your left hand rest upon the top of the left knee and your eyes can simply be closed for this meditation, inhaling all the way into below the below in your physical substantive self. Now seal the right nostril with the thumb and exhale out of the left nostril. Seal the left nostril with the right ring finger and pause for a moment. Open the left nostril and inhale left. Seal 
seal the left nostril and hold the breath. Open the right nostril and exhale right. Inhale right. Relaxing the shoulders, let the low ribs draw in. Seal the right nostril, pause for a moment. In the wisdom of emptiness, in the fullness of love, exhale, left nostril. Pause at the completion of the out breath. Inhale, left. Pause, hold the breath inside of your body. Let it convey all of its original instructions into the halls of the belly and the backbone and the brain. Exhale, right? Pause. Inhale, right? Pause. Exhale, left. Getting into the clean codices of your innate brilliance. Inhale, left. And exhale, right. Let it be profoundly simple, out of which a beautiful integration may grow. Inhale, right. and then from that place, exhale from the kidneys all the way out of the nostril, exhaling out of the right nostril. of emptiness is articulated through the out breath. Inhale. The inhale marks the beginning. Hold the breath. Hold the encodement of beginning inside of the cells of your body. Exhale into emptiness. The wisdom of emptiness. love doing all you can to become a bird of the way of Dharma. Exhale left. Inhale left, please. 
oxygenating, organizing, processing, activating, utilizing every bit of the inhale. Exhale, right? to relax, give any shred of rigidity in your physical structure permission to surrender. Let the meditation hold you. Exhale left. self-love, self-worth, self-respect, self-honor. Breathing that out. Let it go. Put it down. Inhale, right. Constructive inhales. Creative inhales. Exhale, left. few waves, really tune into your energy field, Oxid oxygenating not just your physical body, but the whole field that you are residing inside of, that larger address. Keep this going without my vocalization and feel the clarity of your field. Feel your field. Get inside of the inside. Get below the bottom. Get above. Have a circularity and omnidirectionality in your perception, in your embodiment. A couple more. Listening meditation. Listening at the level of your intuitive, insightful, fully inspired nature. From a place of transparency. No need for facade or artifice or air or a mask of any kind. Let the meditation help you to realign with the 
face you had before you were born. Let this be the last cycle. into a neutral flow. No sculpting of any kind. Just let yourself breathe as you need to and as you are. Be as you are. Be as you are. Be as you are, cherishing who you are as you are in all of the gorgeous wabi-sabi-ness of it, in all of the perfect imperfections of self and selfhood. victorious act in this time to be a being who values his or herself in a very complete kind of manner. This is uh, even somewhat of a, a rebellious act <laughs> in a culture and in a time when um, self-doubt is being profited from. Be a being who self-confident from a place of intuitive wisdom, from a place of uh, emptiness and wisdom and love and stillness and peace. Thank you so much for being here. I hope to see you tomorrow for our gathering then. Satnam and Namaste.